Hello and welcome to my channel. Today um, I'm going to show you first of all I've already done one so this is my tree that I've done and today I'm going to show you how I did it, the stages that I did it. It did take quite a long time but I'm really pleased with the way it looks. Right to start off I used Vetsi Latte number 61 and that's the background colour and I just did one coat of that. I didn't think I used this colour but look how much I've used in the pot so I must reach for it more than I think. So you just basically get a nice gel brush so you don't see the lines. It's important to get a nice one because you don't want to see all those lines where you've been with the brush. And I'm just spreading that over the whole of the nail. And if you hear whining in the background I'm babysitting someone's dog today and tomorrow. So they're not used to being here with my lot. So you may hear things going on in the background. So I'm just basically covering the whole of this nail and then I'll put it in for 60 seconds. So once that's out the lamp after 60 seconds I've just got this very pretty glitter so I'm just using a little sponge because I don't want to do a lot and I'm just dabbing that on so that it's spread in the background and then what I will do with that is I'm going to go over it with a matte top coat so it just sort of fades into the background a bit more I've dropped some there I didn't want to use a brush or, or anything because I don't want a heavy amount of glitter. I'm just, it's just a little bit really. Like that. So there you go, that's what that looks like. And then I'm going to go over that with matte and put it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And what that will do is sort of make it sort of disappear a little bit into the background, but I'll still have a nice sort of background to look at. So I'm just making sure I've got quite a lot on the brush because I tend to find when I'm doing matte, that I'll miss a little bit and then you'll have this little shiny bit and it doesn't look right. So make sure you get plenty on to cover and then you can wipe some off if you're worried about bubbling or it not curing properly. So now I've done it all, I'll just go down like that and just take the excess off and then pop it in for 60 seconds. And that's the effect you get once you've matted the glitter down. So that will now be in the background. And now what I want to do is get my green for the tree. And it's called The Ivy from Vetsy. And I'm getting a fine brush. I'm using this one. From, um, I think... It's a Timu brush, I think. So that's how much I used doing that first nail. So that's the first time I've used this colour. So you want to sort of pick out where you want to be. Because you need room for your star. So I'm just swirling it into the colour. And I'm going to start about there because I want I want to have a star so that's my guideline of where I want to be and then all I'm doing is I'm just brushing like that and trying to wisp it out at the sides as well because I think the tree needs to be a little bit wispy as you go out so then 
just following on use the bulk of the color there and then just swiping along but going a little bit wider each time and then you just keep going until you get to where you want to be widthwise. see what I mean and then you just keep doing that until you get to the length that you want so just to remind you this is the nail I've already done and you just carry on doing that so there you go just going down and going out as you as you go down for the wider part of the tray now I'm going to do the little trunk trunk I hope it's called a trunk uh, say yes from Vetsy And it's just in the middle here just drawing a little bit like that just a teeny bit for the trunk like that and then bring it down a bit more because I will be covering that so it doesn't matter just to get an idea where it will be. So I'll bring it down a little bit more and then I'll pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. So here it is out of the lamp, it's got its little trunk. And now I'm going for bright red and it's called Paradise and that's from Vetsy as well. There, nice bright red. So I'm just going to go across and then down. Take your time, just tiny little steps pulling that down make sure there's no flyaways on your brush because this is the sort of thing that would just ruin your whole look and then just bring it down to where you want and that will be um, like the bucket or whatever it is that you use for the tree to stand on I'm going to bring mine across like so and then just join it up around there like that and then pop that in for 60 seconds once it comes out the lamp I'm going to go over it with the matte top coat from Adam Glam and that's because when I do the baubles, I'm going to do those glossy so they stand out a little bit more. So again, quite thickly going over it so I don't miss any patches. And then I can always swipe down to reduce it after that. But 
but at the moment I want it all matted. For 60 seconds. I'm going to stick the baubles on next. So I'll just try and get that in focus for you. It's really struggling. So I've got these little bright colours there. So I'm going to get the Born Pretty rubber base gel and just put a little bit on my pad. It's quite thick and gloopy. So I'll just put a little bit on like that. And then just the same way that I did the tree, I'm just going to load my brush. And I'm just going to swipe through. Now because I've matted it, it's made it fairly easy for me to see where I'm going over with the base coat. So I'm just sort of following the tree. won't be putting baubles right on the edge so you don't have to worry about going too far out. I mean you can but I'm not. So I just keep following down the tree with the base coat. So I'll do that all the way down and then I'll put it in the lamp for 60 seconds. No, I'm not. I've got to put the baubles on, <laughs> I nearly forgot. Right, so I'm getting the big baubles first. They'll go down the bottom. Like that. And then just as a guide, the smallest ones will be at the top. And then the medium sizes will be in the middle. And you're basically just picking the colours that you want, popping them where you want them. That's a bit too much pink there, uh, orange. And then when you've got a nice coverage of baubles, you can get the tiny ones and just sort of dot them, just to fill in any empty spaces, like that. Then put it in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now at this point, if you want a shiny tree, you can leave it like that, but I want to highlight the baubles, so I'm gonna go over it again with matte. So the whole thing, including the baubles, everything will go over with matte. And then go in for 60 seconds. Right, so there you go, I've matted everything down. And now it's just a case of um, the, the star on the top and the tinsel and things like that. So first of all, I'm going to go over, I've got the crazy top. I love this crazy top. It's a no wipe overlay. And you don't need to put anything else on top of it. And it seems to be lasting a long time too. <laughs> so I'm just going to very carefully, I won't do it all because you'll get bored. But I'll just show you, just dip it in. It's a nice thick consistency. Just wrap that round so it doesn't spill everywhere. And then if I can show you close up. You just dab in the middle and then just sort of dab your brush and it will sit nicely and you'll have a bauble and just pull that away like that 
There you go. So there's your bubble. So I'm going to do that on all of them. So there we go. I don't know if you can see. I hope you can see that the baubles are shiny and raised like little balls. Now I'm going to add my little gold bits. So I've got my Madame Glam gold gel paint here. It needs a bit of a stir, but it's okay for what we need. So first of all, I'm going to do the star. So I'm just dipping in like that. And I'm just going to draw up and across. And dip in again. And again like that. And that's my star. Let's make that a bit taller, that one. So there's my star. And then I'm going to do tinsel. I don't know if people still do tinsel, but that's what I'm going to do around this tree and it hangs it doesn't just go in a straight line so we'll start here and we'll sort of come down like that I'm going to do it quite thick so it's raised and then I'm going to go under that bauble and then to the side like that and then leave a good gap and do it again coming down underneath the bauble and then up and down again because you just don't get tinsel to, to hang in a straight line. And then again here, I'm going to come in here across this one and down below that one. And then back up and across. And then the last one, I'll do it below here. And then I'll go above, above that one and round and down, like so. So you get that sort of look. And then just going to put a little bit of tinsel because it's something I used to do as a child. I always used to put tinsel around the bottom of the, the base of the tree just to make it look pretty. There you go. So you've got your star, you've got your tinsel around your baubles and then around that bottom bit and put that in for 60 seconds. And there we go. That's the tree that's finished. This is the first one. So here I've popped them on the stand so you get more of an idea. So I'm going to do that colour now, which was latte. So I'm going to do that on these three and then just the same as before, I'm going to get that glitter and just sprinkle it in and mat it down. So there you go, I've done the um, polish. I'm just getting my little applicator again and just diving in. And again, just sort of sprinkling around where we want want it to be we want it to be basically everywhere around the nail just not filling the nail like that so I'll do that on all three That's all set in now. Um, I was going to mattify this to go with those, but I quite like the sparkle against the mat of the tree. So I'm going to change my mind. Anyone that's watched me for a bit will know I do this. <laughs> I sort of go along and make it up as I go along. So I'm going to get the no wipe top coat now from Madame Glam. And I'm going to go over it with that. So that the whole thing is shiny and um, then I'm going to pop some stickers on. I'm not going to do a lot with these because I want to make the feature the trees. I think that's enough. I don't want to, you know, it'll look too much. 
So I'm just going over this. With the shiny top coat. It'll smooth it all out as well. So I'm going to do that on all three. So now I'm basically just going to put a little bit of green on just to bring that green across. So I'm going to look for some stickers with holly berries and leaves. Uh, I think I'll go with this one here. So I'm just peeling that off. I'm going to pop that in the corner there like that. Make sure there's no wrinkles. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Going the other way. really sweet and then for this one I'm just wondering right we've got some holly down here Sorry, I'm sort of just having a look at the stickers, deciding which ones. I don't quite know, because I don't want to make it too busy. I'm wondering if that's enough. I'll get this one at the top here. And just see what it looks like. It might be too much. Oh no, that's okay. I'll pop that there like that. That's okay. There we are. So I'll just top that and then I'll be back with the reveal. So this is the um, reveal. Try and get it on a background. I don't know if you can see that. I really enjoyed it. Nice and relaxing. It was good fun doing the trees. So um, I've kept the others basic just because the trees are so much, otherwise it might look a bit clashy. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. Sorry if it's a little bit longer than usual, um, but it did take me a while to do the tree. <laughs> but if you have a go, it is fun and I'm really happy with the results. Bye for now.